Grade 5 math number 23, division remainders as numerators or not. Usually, when solving long division, we need to include the remainder as part of the quotient. 20 divided by 3 is 6. 3 goes into 20 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18. There's 2 left over. Our remainder is 2. Is this too important, though? But sometimes it isn't necessary. What if the problem was each Ferris wheel car can hold three people? If 20 people ride the Ferris wheel, how many full cars will there be? Ah, see, full cars is important. If we have two left over when we're doing our division, that won't make a full car. That's just two people. It's asking how many full cars will there be? The answer is six. The remainder became useless information. It's just not important. It wants to know full cars. There's six of them. These two people wouldn't fill a car, so it's not important. See? Our answer is six. When we do include the remainder, it can be the numerator of a fractional part of the quotient. The answer. The remainder two becomes the num numerator, and the divisor becomes the denominator. See that? Six and two-thirds is left over. So the divisor becomes the denominator as the thirds. What if the problem was Emma fed the birds from a 20-pound bag of bird seed? She used it all in three days. How many pounds of seed did she use each day? Well, see, now we do need that denominator and numerator. We do need that fraction because this two-thirds of a pound is a very important part of how much she fed the birds. She fed them six and two-thirds pounds per day. This time it is important. All right, so it's up to you to determine if it's important or not and you need to decide if you're correct because if you're not correct you could get your problem marked wrong. All right, so should we include the remainder? Emma's dog ate 45 cans of dog food in September. How many cans of food did he eat each day? Remember, there's 30 days in September, April, June, November. Okay, so that's 30. So 45 cans divided by 30, well, 30 only fits into 45 once, and it leaves 15 of 30 left over. Well, 15 is half of 30. See, 15 goes into 32 times. So it actually reduces as a fraction to one half. So her dog ate one and a half cans each day, okay? This should be cans, sorry. So her dog ate one and a half cans each day. That is important. That's, that's a half a can of dog food that her dog ate. See? So it would be three cans in two days. It ate one and a half cans each day. So that's important. We did need to count the numerator, the remainder. How about now? Tala baked 52 cookies and wanted to put them in bags of five for the party. How many bags can she make? All right. She's trying to make bags of five for a party. She's got 52 cookies. Five goes into 52. It goes into five one time. We do the subtraction. We drop the two down. We can't put five into two, so we've got ten full bags of cookies. She needs bags of five, not bags with two in them, see? So the answer is she can make ten bags, and this two is not important, see? How about now? Emma was building shelves that were 24 inches long. She cut the pieces from a seven-foot piece of wood. How many shelves can she cut from this seven-foot seven piece of wood? Remember, there's 12 inches in a foot, so 7 times 12 would be 84, okay? 24 goes into 84 three times. 24 times 3 is 72. That leaves 12 inches left over. She can't make a full shelf from that 12 inches, so that 12 inches is not important, okay? What's important is how many 24 inch lengths she was able to get. See? So remember, sometimes the remainder isn't needed. 
in a problem. Sometimes it's not important, but sometimes it's a numerator to the divisor as a denominator. Sometimes we need to count it as the numerator and use the divisor as the denominator, like in that one, okay? So it's up to you to figure out if that numerator and denominator, that remainder and divisor are important. It's up to you to determine if it's important information or if it's useless information. Okay? I hope this helped. I hope this helped you figure this out. And I'll see you next video. Bye.